Hi, welcome to Raju Library. Dear students, I am going to explain about uh, prime factorization. See, the process to express the number as the product of primes is called uh, prime factorization. So, if you take uh, any number, for example, if you take uh, number 12, how can we write it as a product of primes? See, here we have to observe once uh, the process. What is the process? The method. Okay, to express the number, to express the number as the product of primes, as the product of primes. It means what uh, we have to write uh, this number 12 as a multiplication of uh, prime numbers. Product means what? Multiplication. So, multiplication of uh, prime numbers we have to write. See, here 12 is there. Okay, how can we write this 12? Uh, 2, 6, uh, 12. 2, 6, uh, 12. Actually, in 3 table also, it is possible. 3, 4, 12. 6, 2, 12. 4, 3, 12. But why we are taking here first of all 2 means here 2 is the smallest uh, prime number. 2 is the smallest prime number. So that we have to start with the uh, smallest prime number only. If it is not possible with the 2, next we have to go for 3. Why? Because 2 after uh, immediate prime number is 3. Okay. So that I am taking here 2. 2, 6, 12. Next, write this 2 as it is. Write 2 as it is. And uh, 6 is there. This 6 we have to write as a product of primes. 6 we have to write as product of primes. So, 2, 3, 6. 6 we can write as a product of primes. 2, 3, 6. Now, once multiply all those numbers. See, 2, 2, 4. 4, 3, 4. 12. So, our answer came 12. So, that here, if you observe carefully, 2 is a prime number. As well as, 3 is also prime number. 2 is a prime number, 3 is also prime number. So, what we are doing here? Multiplication. What symbol is there? Multiplication is there. It means what? Uh, this is the product of uh, prime numbers. So, the process to express a number this process to express a number as the product of primes is called a prime factorization. So, this is the method. So, we can write it 12 as a 2 into 2 into 3. So, 2 to the 4, 4 3 to the 12. Like this we can write. Okay. Okay, dear students. Now, let us take one more example that is 42. So, how can we write 42 as a product of primes? What I told prime factorization, the process to express the number as a product of primes. So, we have to write 42 as a product of primes. See, how can we write? Start with the least prime number, smallest prime number. What is the smallest prime number? 2. 2 is the smallest prime number. Here, we have to observe, is this 42 possible with 2 or not? It means uh, 42 is divisible by 2 or not. Here, once place is 2 is there. Why? Because uh, divisibility by 2, uh, the number which has, uh, it needs once place 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, uh, then it is divisible by 2. So, here once place 2 is there. This 42 is divisible by 2. So, we can take uh, the smallest prime number 2. Okay. So, 2 into, how can we write this 42? So, if you don't know, if you don't know, we can do long division also. See, 2 to ja, 4, next uh, reminder 0, take 2, okay, 2 1 ja, 2, the reminder 0. So, what quotient is there? 21. It means 21 2 ja, 42. 21 2 ja, 42. Okay, next uh, write this 2 as it is. Write that 2 as it is and next uh, into also, this 21 we have to write as again uh, product of primes 21 see where it is possible is this possible with the two no why because in one's place uh, one is, we have to go for three is it possible with the three yes three seven ja, 21 so we can take uh, three seven ja, 21 three seven ja, 21 now observe all those numbers see two is there three is there seven is there we know prime numbers 
2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number. Then we can stop there. We can stop there itself. If any composite number is there, then we have to continue that process uh, up to getting all prime numbers like this. If any composite number is there, we have to continue that process uh, up to getting like this uh, all prime numbers. Okay. See here 2, 3, 7 are prime numbers. So, we can stop there. So, therefore, 42 we can write as a product of uh, 2 into 3 into 7. So, this is the method of uh, prime factorization. Okay, dear students, uh, like that to find prime factorization, there are two methods. To find prime factorization, there are two methods. One is, one is division method. One is division method. One is division method. The second one is factor tree method. The second one is factor tree method. So, in next class, I will explain one by one. In next class, I will explain one by one. First division method, next factor tree method I will explain. Okay. Thanks for watching. You please subscribe my channel, Razu Library and uh, watch my videos regularly. Okay. Thank you.